Okay, as I was, uh, this is, we had to restart the video. So brand new serpentine belt. Um, we also um, put on new O2 sensors. These things, the O2 sensors wear out after a couple of years, a bunch of years. Um, but we have new O2 sensors underneath the cars in the uh, exhaust system. The uh, air pump was replaced. Um, the air pump is part of the, uh, the um, uh, emissions system and you get an error if you don't replace it. Um, we also, um, uh, uh, let's see, what else? New idler pulley, the pulleys get old in the, in the, uh, on the fan belt, and one of them was worn out, so we put a new one on with new bearings. We have uh, cleaned the mass air filter out, that's a routine maintenance thing. New fan clutch on the fan, uh, which engages or disengages. Uh, I don't know if I told you, we put on a new water pump. That's about a $300 part, and it's about $200 uh, labor to put it in. Kind of a, it's, it's a pain to put in. We also put a brand new starter and solenoid, okay? And you'll hear from how the car starts uh, how good the brand new starter and solenoid are. Again, that's about a $300 part, uh, $150, $200 installation. Uh, we have been religiously changing the tranny fluid. And the tranny fluid uh, is, is beautiful with filter. We've done that uh, since we've had the car every 30,000. Um, there's another problem with these cars, and that is the shift bushings get loose. There's these little plastic bushings that break over time. They're like nylon, and they break, and your shifter gets super loose, okay? We went ahead and replaced both bushings underneath the car uh, so that that doesn't happen. So they're brand new bushings. You'll never have that problem. Uh, normally these cars have a problem with the flex disc, which is where the, the, the drive shaft meets the transmission, and those are almost always bad, and I told our mechanic, just go ahead and put a new one in, they're always bad. He says, no, actually it's beautiful, so I don't know why, but it's in good shape. Uh, the brakes are, uh, have all been done uh, about, uh, about 30,000, 20,000 miles ago, they're in great shape, so the brakes are almost new, and we put on new rotors and brakes. Uh, put on Aki Bono uh, uh, pads, tie rods. So they're good, good stuff. We also put on new tie rods on both sides. The tie rods on these in the front end. The front ends are good on these. They'll go a half a million miles, but the tie rods get worn out. And we did go ahead and put on new tie rods on both sides and had it aligned thereafter. So that part is all done. Okay. Next, we uh, we bled the uh, the, the brake system. And, uh, and, uh, and took off all four wheels, bled out all the brakes and stuff, and that was done just a little, uh, just a little bit ago. Um, my, my poor, uh, the guy that owns the car was out here uh, all day, taking the wheels off, putting them back on, braking, he, he, he hates me, still hates me for making him do that. But hey, whatever. Um, let's see, got a new windshield wiper, so got a good one, the Bosch one. Uh, we have brand new tires. The tires have about uh, 500 miles on them, okay? So we got new tires all the way around. Um, let's see, uh, we've been doing the rear differential fluid that was done about, uh, about 20,000 miles ago. The rear diff goes about 40, 50,000 between changes, but we did that just a while back. Uh, the, um, <coughs> let's see, we refreshed the uh, steering fluid, which is right here. So that's another fluid that has to be done. That's all done. And, uh, we did that uh, fairly recently. Um, let's see, we, uh, uh, there's cabin filters in this car, and they're located under here, but also under here, there's a fan that runs the ventilation system. We got a brand new fan down there. That's another wear point on these cars. They, they, they break a lot. I've had two or three of these cars, and all of them, the fan went out. So this one has a brand new fan in it. It's only about two months old. Also, if you come over here, this little, this little doohickey down here actually, actually regulates the the cooling system and and that that no it's actually it's actually the it's actually down in there on this on this car it's not there but anyway that's also been replaced that decides when the car is too hot or too cold and it turns on the heat or turns on the cool that thing died so we put a new one of that in um let's see we're still not done uh we put a brand new hood pad on it so that's nice uh come on back around it has a uh, it has a brand new um, uh, Bluetooth uh, stereo system that'll do CDs. It'll do Bluetooth. It'll do all the all the good stuff. JVC. 
This is uh, brand new. This is state-of-the-art stuff. The air conditioning is beautiful, blows ice cold. It's a great air conditioner. Now, okay, let's, now let's talk about the, the, the things that we did not get fixed on this thing. And that is the, the uh, sunroof doesn't work and we didn't fix the antenna back here. This is about a $20 part, which is easy to do. It's easy to install. It's about an hour, a half hour job. It's a do-it-yourself job. If anybody cares, uh, we could put it. You know, we we could put in a new, uh, you know, the antenna. But he has, the guy that owns it doesn't use that. He uses uh, all the you know Bluetooth and all the you know satellite stuff, and he didn't need an antenna. So that's really the two things: is the antenna and the sunroof. Those are the things that don't work. Uh, me meanwhile, I guess we should start it up, huh? Go ahead and walk around to the to the to the to the engine. It starts, it starts uh, straight up. Uh, the oil's pretty new. Uh, like I said, AC is beautiful in this car. This is I've had three or four of these, and this is the best AC of, of any of them uh, by a long shot. Um, uh, I think otherwise, uh, I don't have that much to say about it. As far as I can tell, you know, these cars go 500, 700,000 miles. They're crazy. They last forever. They, they never die. But all the little peripheral things, like the fan belts and the hoses, and the fluids, and the, you know, there's all these little replaceable things that only last 100,000 on these. We've gone through this car and replaced essentially everything that has a, a limited lifespan. And basically this thing is now ready, I think, for another like, you know, five years of motoring uh, and, or 10, um, with just things like, you know, doing the tranny fluids and doing the oil and doing the steering fluid and all that jazz. But we've basically caught the maintenance up on this car and I think it's ready for, you know, another round. I really do. Okay. If you're interested, give us a yell. Uh, we, uh, uh, I think we need to get some money for this thing because of all the money we put into it. And uh, I, hope, uh, I hope the world out there agrees. Anyway, see you in person soon.